All right, what's up everybody? So I do apologize for the overexposed light. I just wanted to let you know that I did have some plans to come and shoot this video here in this wonderful place. It's this gigantic park that I've been coming to a lot, doing uh, my walks and you know just relaxing. We've had picnics here and it looks like this place is finally starting to get off the ground. Uh, we just moved to a new development and a lot of the things haven't really been built out yet, but I came here today expecting this place to be empty and the parking lot is packed. Um, they've got all kinds of fields and, and different things going on with sports and even a farmer's market. So I'm kind of excited to check that stuff out in the future. But it just kind of got me thinking about a question that I've been getting a lot these last couple of weeks. And ever since I put out the 90 day video challenge, I've had a lot of you guys that have been joining it and you've been you know asking questions. And one of the questions I get the most is, how do I just shoot the video? I, they, a lot of people ask me like, what is it? How do you go about just shooting videos? And this is a perfect example. I had to turn the camera this way, but if you were to see on the other side here, there's just cars and people everywhere driving around parking. There's some people having a picnic right here. And if you can hear in the background, there's even whistles blowing. And it doesn't always have to be formal. It doesn't have to be the perfect setting. A lot of people think that in order to shoot a video, because you know, we're, we're very critical, obviously, in our, with ourselves. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. A lot of people think that, you know, because something is in the background or distracting them or maybe they're embarrassed to talk in front of people that the video is going to come out really bad. And I feel all of those things right now. I feel all the same feelings that you're probably feeling that you felt when trying to shoot your videos. And if you haven't checked out the 90 Day Video Challenge yet, uh, definitely go back and, and watch that one. It's a good video to, to kind of show you how to get started with recording these videos so that you can start sharing your message with the world because the goal in doing this is not only for monetary reasons, it's because you know usually the people that I've been able to connect with online, they're like-minded and you probably have a voice and a message that you wanna share. And this is the avenue to do it. It's utilizing the internet and an online business model to be able to bring that message uh, and your gift to the world. So definitely go back and watch that video if you haven't. Um, like I said, I, I literally just parked. I have my keys in my hand. I grabbed my tripod, I threw it on my trunk and I am shooting this video right now. And the way that uh, I've been able to build this habit up is by just doing two things. One of them I got from Mel Robbins. If you haven't checked out her work, um, she's really great in the, uh, in the um, psychology and mindset space. She's really good about, you know, figuring out why the brain does the things that it does. And she's got something called the five second rule. And I've, I've wanted to talk about this for a while, but I haven't just because it's something that I wanted to try out. And I am not the kind of person who will ever share something unless I've done it enough for myself to see if it works. And so I do believe in this now and I've done it so many times that I know that it's helped me to overcome fear, to just kill procrastination, kill laziness and really just, you know, make progress in my life. And I've been doing this for, I think I saw it about two or three months ago. It couldn't have been any longer than that, but you know, 90 days is a long time to try something out, <laughs> especially if you're recording videos, right? So anyway, back to what I was saying, um, the five second rule, basically you overcome everything that your brain wants to think about and all the fear that you might have by just counting down from five, four, three, two, one, and you go. And so I pulled up in the parking lot today and I saw all these people and I thought, oh, my brain started you know, doing the things that it does. Oh, well, we can't shoot videos here. There's gonna be too much noise in the background. All these people are gonna be looking at you. I just simply pulled my car off to the side, five, four, three, two, one, grabbed my tripod, slammed it on the trunk, and I hit record. And now we're shooting this video. So this is really impromptu, and I just wanna show you that. The way that you do it is by just simply doing it. So everyone asks, how do you shoot videos? What do you do to make these videos the way that they are? You know, How do you plan for them? You can do all of those things. And I, I definitely encourage you to plan them, to rehearse what you wanna say and do all that because they will come out a lot smoother in the very beginning when it's, it's uncomfortable and you don't feel great on camera. But the number one secret to doing this is simply just to do it. Just say five, four, three, two, one, and go. And start recording. And if you mess up, if you fumble your words, if you make a horrible video like I might be doing right now, oh well, you don't have to use it. You don't have to share that with anybody. It's for you, it's for practice, and it's for creating the habit. Um, another thing is that when people tell you that the video has to be a certain way, everyone is giving you an opinion. They've got their own ideas. 
the best way that you can shoot videos is completely raw and authentic. Shoot them in your environment. Shoot them if you are the kind of person who's always out on walks, shoot them when you're on your walks. If you're the kind of person who gets up in the morning, you meditate or you do yoga or any kind of breathing exercises or whatever it may be, do it right after that. If you're just the kind of person who's random, has a thought in their head sometimes and just really wants to share that, then just carry your equipment with you. And when that moment comes up, when you have that spark, that inspiration, simply grab the camera and just shoot the video. And I know it sounds simple and I, I want to keep it simple, but really two things. Try out the Mel Robbins technique. So it's the five second rule. You can definitely look that up. It's all over the internet. I don't have to go too far into detail about it. It's a sim There's a lot more to it. I mean, as far as uh, the way that the brain works and, and the, the reasoning why it works, if you want to research that. But to keep it really simple, you count down from five and you just go. And when you go, you're instantly moving without thinking. Your brain isn't holding you back. The monkey brain isn't doing what it's meant to be doing, right? It's not trying to worry about survival and discomfort and the, the scenarios and all the different uh, things that could be happening that might potentially cause danger in your life. You're just going, you're overcoming it and you're working through the video. And as you go through the video, it gets easier and easier and you're able to start putting your thoughts together much clearer. And that's really all it is. Um, and then in combination with that, just keep telling yourself, just shoot the video, just shoot the video. It doesn't have to be perfect. No one has to see it if it's terrible just shoot the video and that's really it so again i just got up and i just shot this video I, i'd love to obviously go over here and, and pick a great background and some scenery but today's just not going to be a day for doing that and i do hope that you have found some value in this video still i think that the palm trees and the parking lot behind me doesn't necessarily diminish the quality of the video as long as the message is sound and that's what you want to remember as well so good luck with all your videos. Keep sending in those questions. I, I love to read them and I will keep shooting videos that answer a lot of the questions that are more common. Um, if there's anything else that does come up, definitely leave a comment in the, in the box below. And I wanna thank you for watching this video. Talk to you on the next one.